The following program is brought to you by Element 14, the electronics community where you can connect and collaborate with top engineers from around the world. Join now at element14.com slash presents. Hello, and welcome back to Element 14 Presents. I'm Caleb Clark, and in today's episode, we will be building a wireless recording light to let people know not to come into the studio while I'm recording. Let's have a look at the problem. First, as you can see, I do video production, as well as audio narration and production here in the shop studio. Sometimes when I'm recording, I get interrupted by someone just walking in and blowing the... Hey, hon. Yeah? Can you take the garbage out, please? Sure thing, I'll get right on it. Thank you. Welcome. See? Yeah, that happens. Sometimes I'm minutes into a take and I'll have to redo the whole thing. Sarah has a similar problem. She works from home as well, and I would go up and interrupt her. Let's see how she solved this problem. Well, that works, but I bet I can solve this on a budget too. There, would that solve my problem? Heck yeah, but that only took what, like 10 seconds? It's not my style. I'll solve this one with a couple of weeks of design, 3D printing, and futzing with electronics. Amazing hacks, inspired designs. Each week, Element 14 Presents brings you innovative projects using electronics, engineering, and more. In order to ensure that this was not a short, simple solution, I got out the old drawing board to write out a list of features that I wanted the project to have and some that are totally not necessary. What we're going to build is a light that's outside the shop studio that I can turn on when I'm recording to notify anyone trying to come in here to please not disturb me. But what if there's an emergency jar of pickles that needs to be opened? Well, we can add a call feature so that Sarah can notify me about a pickle jar. I should also be able to acknowledge that I've received that call, so we'll add that too. I'm not too keen on drilling holes in my walls unless I absolutely have to, so let's make it wireless as well. And what else? Uh, for future expansion, let's build it on a mesh network so we can add other nodes and battery power remote. Here's the initial sketches that I came up with. There's two buttons on the remote unit, one for triggering record and the other one for the call feature. On the outside light unit, there's only one button for the call feature. The outside light will light up with two different sets of lights when I hit the record button on the remote. The call feature works by someone outside pressing the button. That button and the call button on the remote will light up red, notifying me that there's a call. When I press the call button on the remote, both buttons will light up blue to notify the person outside that I've received the call. With a long press on either button, the call feature gets reset. So now that that's all laid out, let's dig in and have a look at all of the components and parts. All right, let's look at the parts. For the microcontrollers, we're going to use particle mesh kit. We've got the gateway and a node device here. Super cool. Love these particle devices. Got these really cool switches from Bulgin is the name of the company that makes them. Got these at Newark as well. It's a two color LED with a momentary switch and pretty interesting with four terminals, two for the switch, two for the dual color LED. And the way that works is you send high and low from digital pins, it'll light up one, and low and high, it'll light up the other one. Cool stuff. The LEDs that we're gonna use are made by Adafruit, and got these from Newark as well. There's 144 pixels on per meter. We don't really need that many, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna light up every other one. These were what was available, so that's what I'm using. The power supply, it is a Triad Magnetics power supply. It's four amps, five volts. I've also laser cut some parts. There's more of these. I'm just showing you one of each. This is quarter inch cast acrylic. I'm going to abrade it, sand it down so it will reflect light more rather than just shine right through it. And that'll give me some diffusion. This little piece of 16th is going to get glued onto the back to kind of hold it in place. This is also diffusion, 16th inch uh, sign white is what they call it. And it works great for diffusing LEDs. The last bit, we're gonna use some protoboard. Protoboard, we're gonna put some female headers on so we can plug in these kits rather than having to solder them directly onto the board because it's not gonna work right the first time. 
when I'm doing it. So that's how that's gonna work. And of course, a whole bunch of 3D printed parts. And we'll show you all of those as we go through the assembly. So that's it. Let's get on with putting it together. What we've got is the remote unit that will sit on the desk with me, and this is the light unit, which will be outside the studio. This is the call button on the outside. This should be the record active button and the call button on the remote side. So first let's check, no, let's check the call function first. So in the code, theoretically, what should happen is if I push this button, it will light up red, which will also light up this button. And remember, these aren't connected by any wires. It's a mesh network in there. So let's try it. Okay, red. And we've got red over here. If I now push this button on the remote side, that will acknowledge that I have seen the call and it will turn blue. That notifies somebody on the outside that I have seen it. So that's the acknowledgement. On either one of these two buttons, you can hold down on a long press and watch this one over here when I hold it down, the long press will reset the call system. The next button is the record active button. I don't know what's going on with this pixel. I think it's because I was plugging stuff in while it was on. So this light will light up red. These should light up white. All these should light up red. That's it. They're kind of hard to see on camera, but you can tell that there's a bunch of red going on. So I hit the button again, turns off. So this is just a toggle for me on my side to turn on recording state, turn off recording state. On, off. Okay, well, now I think it's time to assemble all the parts and get all the 3D printed stuff together and ready. So. Let's do that. assembly of the light module. This is the part that's gonna go on the outside of the studio that lights up. And I've really been looking forward to assembling this and showing this to you because it's a fun design and I had a lot of fun designing it and hopefully making it go together right. Well, I think that's it. I think the build is done. Uh, we've got the remote unit here, the light unit with the button for the wall, and everything works. We have our call function, both turn red. You can't really see that one, there you go. Turns red, acknowledge, turns blue, long press to reset. This button, Record on. And it's gonna, it's gonna hang this way, whether this is the top. I guess the next thing to do is to mount this outside and see how it works.
Well, that's all we have for today. Overall, I am very pleased with how this came out. It works exactly as I expected, and I really like the design. Even though the circuit was quite simple, it was a tough build. There were a lot of parts that had to fit together just right, and they did. I'm really glad I took the time to build the entire system in Fusion 360. With this being on a mesh network, I can expand the functionality by just adding another Xenon. Maybe put a module together that actually triggers the camera to start recording. That would be awesome. What other features would you add? What else can I make this thing do when I hit that record button? Let us know in the Element 14 community at element14.com presents. We'll see you next time, and until then, keep making.